Billy. What's happening, everybody? Welcome to another American Truck Simulator Home Daily. Yep, yep, it's been a while, I know. It's been a very long time since I've talked with y'all in this segment. And today is kind of no different. Since I'm not going to be talking too much about personal, what I've been up to, yada yada, all that stuff. But, going into what the title pretty much is talking about. Multi-drops. And how to do it for yourself. Be it in mind... So big spoiler here before I get that, before I go there. Big spoiler, the fourth wall today is just going to be broken. It's going to be destroyed. Because I'm going to be talking a lot about the game and not too much, like, more of the simulation, getting into it too much. But, for those times I do get into it, you'll see this. When you see this, this will let you know it's something I'm doing, not the game. That's why it says simulated by X, not the SES. I've said it many times and can never say it enough. The game can't do it all. It, it just can't. They give you an abundance of stuff that it, you can do. Way more than any other truck sim has ever done in the past. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Yes. But no simulator can do pretty much everything. And don't get me wrong. Do I think at some point SES will um, implement multi-drops like this maybe not this style like I'm doing but implement multi-drops of course of course if I can simulate it here that means they can figure it out but all of that again when you see this you know it's all for me not a mod not a DLC but simply creativity well thought out thinking and a little bit of imagination so now we got that that, that out the way let's go ahead and get started so, today I will be doing a multi-drop load, meaning I'm picking up the cargo from one place and delivering it to multiple locations. Normally this wouldn't happen with the company I'm currently leased to, which is Bellflower, doing green and this type of trail and everything. Right now, I heard um, soon they're going to be implementing two more um, divisions for reefer and food tank, but right now all they do is green. Why I said this involves doing some work for yourself. You, you, you the watcher, the driver of this game, all that. And being a little creative. The game isn't doing this, I'm doing it. Now, before I explain how this works, remember all of this is my style of doing this, how I do it. You can come up with your own way, your own style, all of that. This is just how I do it, my formulas. All that, I've used this before many times, it works really well. And like I said, this is my way of doing it. You can do it yours, all the numbers, everything else, that's all you if you want to, but this is my style, and just to give you an idea how it can be done. So, and not to mention, like I said today, this is um, multi-drop. You can also use it for multi-pickups, but with the formula I use, that can be a little more complicated, which is why I'm not doing that today. I'm just doing multi-drops. So, but all right, now that I didn't talk your ear off, did all that, let's go pick up the load. I would cut the video out here, but we are going to pick up right across the street. So I'll just let y'all ride for here. Like I said, well, I don't think I said it, but I mentally thought it. This ain't going to be a long video. I'm trying to keep it at 15 minutes max, maybe a little bit more, more or less, but... I'm not trying to sit here for like no hours like I've seen some people do, which I know my home daily can get to go on sometimes. That's so why I'm trying to do better about that. So no, like I said, it's the multi drop day and the how to. I'm gonna show you how to do it, calculations, all that when I get up here. And partially some of the calculations ain't needed, but I do that sometimes too. So I'll show you that as well. You have to forgive me, you'll hear the trigger. I'm using my headset today, not my normal commentary mic. Uh, easy drop. Easy pickup, that I should say. Easy pickup. Uh, swing around, swing around. Don't need you on. Keep turning, keep turning. 
right about there, and there we go. And you see why I started doing XL back in, which I haven't done one again, but I'm going to start doing more of them. They're simple and short. But I love doing them because you just don't see people doing this this easily and this smoothly. Not that I'm bragging or anything. I'm <laughs> I'm a trucker, so I drive trucks in real life, like I've said a million times. So Plus, I've done this game for, like, ever since it came out. So with that comes experience, and I never hit automatically do so but no back to what we were talking about before I get loaded I gotta show you the board that was really weird I guess I got the load right when it was canceling out from the load board because it's not there no more but it's still here so but anyway you can still roll with it that was just really weird what just happened but anyway so say you're looking for a job you found your job I wanted to do this before it loaded but it would not let me show you it before I load it up, that's why I said it was weird. But anyway, say wherever you're going, say, no, it would just follow mine. Mine's doing an external, so let's say you have the same thing, whatever freight you're using. Me, I'm going to, um, Barstow and Carlsbad. But, because I can't show you, which that's not even, what the heck is it on? Oh, market, I need market, sorry. Oh, uh, it's been a morning. I say, so like this one, I was going to take this one. I'm not. That's not where I'm going. I'm going to bar stuff right here. But say I was going to take this one, okay? Actually, let's just forget it. We'll forget about this because I don't want to confuse nobody. All right, so I'm going from here to bar stuff, okay? That is... Well, you know what? Let me... Like I said, I wish this would have been better with the board, but I can't do it now because it was weird. But let's look here. I'll do it a different way. It's 131 miles. So, it's 131 miles from here to Barstow. And again, this. Remember, this. Which means SES isn't doing this, I'm doing it. So, say it's going, it's going to Barstow, as you see, 131 miles. That means, for me personally, I like to do it within the range. I mean, you, again, you'll see this pop up a lot. You'll see this pop up a lot. But, I like to do it within, like... A hundred, like anywhere between 50 to 100 miles, depending on how long the load is. For this one's 131, so I'm doing like 50 miles extra, which will be Carlsbad or Oxnard. I'm going to Carlsbad, okay? So go to Carlsbad, and for me personally, depending on what it is I'm hauling, I like to stick to realism of what it is. So grain, so I'm going to be going to DAU, I call them. See, it doesn't add that much, probably... Ah, what I tell you, next chest point, 58. So there's my first stop. There's my first stop. Now, when you're doing multi-drop, again, I'm sorry you see this a lot, but to make it work and do all this formula and everything, you have, whatever it says on the bills, bar so, that will be your ending stop. Whereas your multi-stop in the front will be the first one. Or if you want to do like I did when I was working with sales goods in a previous video, like way back, like 2018, I think it was, or 19. If you want to do triple, triple stops, you can. But the first two won't be the one on the bill. So the last one has to be where you're going, like for me now, Busto. Whereas the first two can be with anywhere within your range, your formula, everything like that. Like I said, this is me, my formula, how I like to do it. It's all me. I hate to do it again, but, yep, like I said, the game can't do everything. I also want to put out there, I won legal, so that's kind of why I'm doing it short today. So that's kind of why I'm doing it short today. And, depending on how you want to do it, I'm going to show you, again, I really wish the low board would have popped up. I don't know why it didn't for this one, but I wrote it down. Pay attention to your PPM. Because that is how you can see also what you're making per drop. I'm not going to do it now since I can't show you and I don't want to. I have it written down, but I don't want to show you. So, but that's another thing you might want to pay attention to, your PPM. You know, I'm doing this a short day. Like I said, I also run legal, like hours of service and all that, four hours. So it'll be knocked out, good to go. 
over and done with. Hopefully be back home before 5 o'clock this afternoon with multi-drops like this. But, nope. So that's all you pretty much have to do for picking your multi-drop. You find a load wherever you want to go. Like I said, mine's going to Barstow. And I have my formula where I like to be with, within so many miles of what the whole destination is. I'll show you that again. Reset. So the whole thing is 131. I like to be within 50 or so. So I'm going to Carlsbad DAU. And I also like to keep it realistic. I'm hauling grain. So that's why I'm going to Carlsbad DAU and not like Bitterman or Cell Goods. Which surprisingly they do accept. I've been running with Bellflower at least, which is what this company is for me. Again. Yes, but that's what this company is to me. So, Bellflower Lease. Well, it's actually just Bellflower, not Lease. But, that's what the company I'm leased to is. That's why I say Lease, just for a habit. But anyway, you do all that. You find your load. All that. And like I was saying, it's surprising they accept grain. But anyway, I am so getting off topic. <laughs> okay, this is how you do it. So, that's how you find your load. You go to your fate market, external market, external contract. However you want to do it. But, big thing here is, to make it work and everything like that, me personally, one more time, you have to have an ownable trailer. If you use your straight freight market, it works just the same, but to me personally, I like to load it up and unload it and do all that. And once you get up there, if you don't follow the formula, and you deliver, say I didn't do the formula, and say this was a freight market load, once I got the bus though, the trailer disappears. And then I can't do a multi-drop, or at least, yeah, multi-drop, or even a multi-pickup if I wanted to. So, big thing this for me, at least with my formula, you have to have an ownable trailer. You have to have an ownable trailer. And then when you're picking your things, like my, I just picked mine, personally speaking, I'd write it down as well. You don't have to. I write everything down, but you can do that. And I would also put it on your map so you don't overlook it. You don't have to. Like, I could undo this and be fine. But I'm going to put it on the map just because I usually do it. makes it a little bit easier. And so I don't be just rolling looking at GPS. Forget it. So put it on your map where your multi-stop is. The first one. And that's all there is pretty much to getting a multi-drop load as far as picking it up and picking out and everything else like that. Alright. I'm sure I done talked y'all's ear off. Like crazy, so I'm gonna go ahead and fire it up, and I will holler, holler back at y'all at the drop. I said I was gonna holler at y'all at the drop, but I just turned out, and I'm like, what the heck happened while I was in there? So another how-to in case y'all don't know, to get out of this so you don't kill times and everything, just simply open up your console like this, the button next to the one on the top row of buttons on your keyboard type in this command g dash traffic and put in zero zero clears out them all so, and then if you want traffic back pull it back up same thing and type in any number I like to do two because that's usually a little heavier than normal but not overly ridiculous okay getting down to the first drop now like I say calls bad di zoo or whatever here it is right here. Dust Shell, Zuo, I just call it Diazu, it's easy to remember. <laughs> but now I'm getting to the first drop. So, and again. So what I'm about to say next may sound weird, but it's for the realization and simulation and all that. So once you get to your first drop, pretty much find an empty slot. SES has done a great job about leaving a lot of empty slots, no matter where you go pretty much. So just find somewhere, doesn't even have to be realistic if you don't want to. Like I know I could pull it over anywhere in here, but I'm going to at least look to see if there's anything. And I'm not, well you know what, I'm going to just park where it would be if it was SES based delivery and all that. I'm going to just park there. Should be good. 
Hey, now you're probably thinking, why am I showing you all this? Well, when you get to your first drop like I am at now, okay? Look at your time. It's 10.58. Me personally, and again, all my formula, this. So you can do it any way you choose to, but I know this adds to the realism and everything else like that. If you've got an Android phone or an Apple phone, get you something, an app called a random number generator. Hell, I think they even have it on the internet itself. Just any kind of random number generator, okay? And at me personally, since I'm trying to make this a short day, I do anywhere from 0.75 to 1.50. So, I mean, you can do anything you want. Again, these are all my formulas, how I like to do it, all that fun stuff. Sorry, I was filling out paperwork. Okay, like I said, you can do any number you want. I do uh, 0 0.75 to point, no, to 1.50. Why? Because 0 0.75 would be about 45 minutes. 1.50 would be an hour and a half. So, as you can see, that's how that counts as how long it would take to unload the first load and that's why I say watch your time and use the generator because it just makes it easier in my opinion to keep up with you don't have to if you're good with numbers and math and timing and all that like you don't have to use it you can pick anything I like the randomness of using random number generators but anyway so you do that I got 1.17 so that would be an hour and about almost 20 minutes so for now that would be Oh, see, I'm not great with math. 11, 56, 12. So I'm going to just round it up to 12, 15. So, you do that. You go into this. If you don't have this open, this plays a part a little bit in it to use. And you set time. So, to go to 12, 15. Uh, I'm trying to think how that. Because I, I usually just do hours. So I'll just round it up to 12, 30. So, ah, crap, what I do? Okay, there you go. So, you go back here. You get into your set time, set traffic, set time, 12.50 would be 12.30. And there you go. You've just done your first drop. There you go. Now, could you figure out how much it is as far as how much you may put as drop? Yes, and I'll show you that now. So again, it all comes down to your PPM, like I was saying earlier. So go to anything I'm just using for an example. So I'm trying to do something that's not crazy in numbering. Well, let me just start from calls bad where I'm at. God, they do not do. They do not like this cargo load. All right, say it. Say this one. So I'm not you doing it. I'm not. I'm just using this for a map to show you. You gotta do some work. So 34. As a matter of fact, I just thought about it. Oh, so you take your pop miles. So 22 was what I did. You do whatever. 22. And it was 58 miles. Pretty much what I went. So, for this load, I'm getting $1,200. There you go. $1,200. On my bills, it said, I don't know, I didn't write that down. But for this load, I'm getting $1,200. That's how you can figure out how you much get. Not load, let me phrase that. This drop. Not the entire load. Don't want to confuse nobody. For this one drop, I'm getting $1,200. You know what, let me get out of this. I'm sure I'm confusing some people. Uh, let me get back in the truck and get out this low board and everything. So for this drop in Carlsbad, again, for this drop, I'm getting $1,276. Matter of fact, I'm going to write that on my manifest just so I can look back at later. I told you I write a lot of stuff down, and I done lost my pen, so I'm not writing nothing right now. I'm not going to waste y'all time looking for the pen, but that's how you can figure it out. So you go, how much you're getting per mile times your first drop mileage from where you picked up. Because see, now I got another, what is it, 128. So that plus that will give me the end result of what this whole load was worth, according to the bills and everything. But nope, that's how you can figure out, if you want to figure out how much your first drop was making you. Because in theory, guess what? I could call them up right now be bam and be out but that wouldn't go well with 
this if you put say like that your SES but say you wanted to do it like now you just want to do the place and have someone else pick it up you can legit in your money if you wanted to again use some creativity here and imagination add to it if you wanted to but it won't show up in the game so it really won't do you any well but if you wanted to you could I'm not I'm gonna finish this because I want my money to actually go up on here but if you wanted to you could so that's why I'm showing you how you can figure out how much you get per drop but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and get on rolling over back over well up here to the bar so like I said three hours I think it said and I really gotta get this truck fixed a little bit not awful but it's just way into I've been running it up into the ground pretty much which is sad because it's a very baby truck but still but no two hours actually so I'm gonna go ahead and roll on drop this and I'll show you how my calculation wasn't off when I get up here and I'll show you the actual amount I get for this load and how my first drop this one is actually correct in how much I got paid for this one if I was going to again Bellflower doesn't do the whole watch well, SCS and all doesn't do it but even Bellflower at least somewhere now doesn't do it so it really doesn't matter but I'm just letting you know in case for your formula you wanted to figure out how much for each drop just let you know showing you like I said I've done this a very long time about a year after we got ownable trailers yeah I think about a year so that's why I knew I could figure out how to do it and figure something out and get a formula that works. But, oh, all right, I'll holler at y'all in bus though. We're getting close up here. Like I said, I, I I just wanted to drop in and say I was way off with my timing, which kind of, which what's the word? I can't even think of the word now. Insinuates why the random selected number generator I mentioned back in calls bad makes a good role to have in using this because as you can see <laughs> I'm gonna get there at 330 3 30ish yeah about 330 but when I picked up this morning it was freaking nine o'clock so I should have been way back but because they took like an hour and a half so back in calls bad that messes up so that's why I said using that helps a lot with this and in general with a lot of stuff. If you use, I don't use the random number generator most of the time because when it actually does unload on SES based um, deliveries and everything, it takes about an hour then. So, but when I do multi drop loads like this, I do use that because it plays such a huge role in it and everything else. Am I good? Yep. I'm good? Yep. So I will not be back by no 5 p.m. today. Oops, sorry, sign. My bad. My bad. Oh, that's embarrassing. You know, I won't be back by no 5 p.m. today, but it's all good. It's all good. But, like I said, we're here now. Anybody who plays this, which 9 out of 10, if you're here, you play this, <laughs> watching this video, you play this game, or at least have interest. But if not, I'll just tell you for the sake of telling. Now you're back to basic deliveries with SES style. What they do, the basic part of the game. And don't tell me I got this hard behind back. I really didn't want this back. I haven't had this back in like four rail exports. Why you give it to me now? Is it? Is it? Let me see the map. Yep, I think it is. Okay. Well, I was going to tell you something else about the how-to for multi-drop, but I'm going to just show y'all how to do this back since y'all are here and watching. Not a hard, well, it is kind of a hard back. As a matter of fact, I'm not even going to show you the whole, well, no, I guess I should if I'm showing you how to do it. Showing you how to do it is kind of like a how-to video anyway, so I'll just keep it with that theme. And I'm probably set up, but use all the space you got. That's a trucker model. Some people don't believe it. They think it's wrong to use all the space. I don't. I'm like, I don't care. If it's available, I'm going to use it. But anyway, as you saw, you get back and you get your trailer. Right? You know what? I'm going to just be quiet. Because I think talking might mess somebody up if they're trying to learn. So.
But you saw what I did there. It's all about where your trailer is at. That's the main part of backing and setting up. Setting up is key. That is the key to backing with trailers. And the third thing I'll say, do not be rushing and do it. I, the slower you get, the more time you have to hit all them nice pivotal points. Uh, come on, baby. Come on, baby. Come on. And I think. And the other thing I'm going to say, too, because some people talk about it, there's no shame in pulling up. That is part of backing with a tractor trailer. Some people are like, you could do that in one. Good for you. I don't want to. I'm pulling up. I don't care. We ain't in no race or no hurry or showing off for nobody. Uh, I think it's gonna be just what I don't want it. Come on, baby. Come on. Oh, y'all lying. I ain't hit nothing. They just grazed it. But I know why that is. Because, you know, all of these trucks, trailers, anything on this has a collision zone. So you may be skimming it like you just saw where I was. But it counted that you're in the collision zone. So that's why it's like, oh, you damaged it. It hit it. Which you saw I didn't. Hence why I didn't block me. Trust me, if I had. <laughs> Y'all know this, it will not let you move if you hit something pretty much. Maybe like that sign or everything, but you'll feel it. And if you have vibration controls like I do on my wheel, you'll feel it on that or your controller or whatever. So trust me, you can tell when you actually hit something versus sometimes when it's just that collision zone like you just saw. But nope, that's all there is to getting into this back. That's all it is. But that's not why I was here. I was just doing the trade. But as you, like I said earlier, now it's just a basic SES drop. You go, you get loaded. You, since it's an unloaded one, I gotta turn the truck off. You do it, and I'm gonna prove to you for all y'all to think you ain't right. That wasn't real. The number I had before was two, no, 1,276. Look how much I got paid for this load. So, obviously, it ain't long. The formula for that and everything else works, as you just saw in this video. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, but no, I'm just showing that that's how you can do it. That's how you can count what you're getting paid versus your actual one. And, I mean, granted, this would actually be what it is, because you see the bonus right here. So, that bonus helped nicely. But, you see what that is actually so it's about a little more than a little less than half maybe about a little bit about like i said math in my head ain't my best suit but you can see it's about half so that's why i usually like to depend on the length of the load i usually like to get the first drop at least half a little more a little more a little mess a little more a little less so break down no and I'm not gonna do that waste y'all's time doing it but that's how you do it well at least let me again one more time I know I've been blowing it up all video but one more time this is my way of doing it my formulas everything else give me an idea how to do it you can do it your own way figure out your own style cool if you do let me know I'm always open to looking at new ideas and stuff like that I'm a very open-minded person this is my formula that's worked for years as you just saw in the video it works as you just saw, everything SCS provides you, I didn't come up with the maps and names and all that. I just came up with the formulas and how to properly use them. So, again, this is my idea. But, this is a way you can do it if you want to do multi-drop loads. Like I said, it works great for even triples. Loading is a little different. I'm not going to do a video of that. But the formula for that is a little different. Again, why I showed you dropping. It works great for dropping the formula I just showed you and talked about throughout this entire video.